This is take two. The first one I uh, had the camera on time lapse. Right. It's got to be the cog for the motor. And it came off a uh, BMX bike, I think. Anyway, <clears throat> I then wanted to find out a way of hooking up to the um, shaft of the motor. I found these washers. They came out of a washing machine, or well, washing machines, kind uh, of stripped down several. Um, don't know what make or anything like that. <coughs> and I've got enough. I can do one, two, three cogs. <coughs> I was thinking of putting a, a cassette on, but I wouldn't be able to get the um, centre as easy as that, so I decided against it. So. All that's going to happen with this is it'll be cleaned up and the washers will be cleaned up and then they'll be welded all the way around on either side. Now, I picked, chose these washers because of the hole in the middle. And I don't know if it'll show up very well on the camera. That hole is almost the same size as the shaft that this pulley is on. And that will go on there like that, along with the cog. So I'll have two on the shaft, holding the cog in position. But what I want to do is um, use the grinder and uh, uh, grips on the shaft like so, and then grind it off flat, almost down to the shaft, turn it over uh, 180 degrees, grind it off flat, and then the metal left, quite very close to the shaft, should be weak enough that I can pull that off or tap it off or whatever, um, and hopefully that'll get that off. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, um, what I intend to do is grind a flat on the shaft and then the keyway in the two washers so that when the whole assembly is on, I can put a key in and that will hold that perfectly where I want it to. Now coming off the pulley will be poor man's jack shaft. Back axle of a bike. <clears throat> no idea what bike this came out of. But um, the idea is, I got, I got the metal work to mount these coming, had it to be here today. The idea is that they will mount like that. Not this one, but another shaft, another back axle that way around. And then I can put a piece of chain between the two. And I'll put a sprung loaded idler at the bottom just to keep the tension on the uh, chain so that when the motor is turning it, that um, the chain isn't going to go bounce off the, uh, off the cogs. Now, whether this is strong enough or not, I've no idea. But there's only one way to find out. Because if it can handle the weight of a person going quite fast, 
I'm sure it can handle what I'm going to do. Now I know people's legs don't go round when they're pedalling at 1500 miles uh, per minute, which is what this beastie does according to the label. Uh, sorry, 1600. It's 1.7 amps, 380 watts, 200, 240 volt, 50, 60 hertz. So um, the idea is that the jack shaft will be on a plate like that. The motor, and bear in mind this is only one motor at the moment, there's going to be four on. There, jack shafts there, my hand is probably in the way. Right, jack shafts there. And the mount of the motor is going to allow it to move up and down so I can experiment with each of the um, cassette gearings to give me the um, the torqueability that I, I, I'm looking for. The idea is that um, at takeoff all four motors on both sides will come in and then cruising on the flat, only two motors either side will be in, so um, we'll just have to see how that's going to work out, but at the moment I'm concentrating on one and uh, I'm going to build um, the back axle up and um, As a, as a trike so that we can uh, do some actual running tests so uh, that's how far I've got so far as I said I was hoping that um, the uh, metal work for the jack shaft was a little bit here by now but no such luck I shall uh, Probably put these in a light acid bath to clean them up. That should be good. Right. See you on the next one. Don't forget to rate. Oh. Comment and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.